Have you ever been told about the analogy of the pen? Sell me a pen. Okay, so salespeople, when they start out, first thing they'll ever be asked is, can you sell me a pen? Okay, can you sell me a pen? The question a good salesperson will always ask is, does the person I'm talking to want a pen? I could be the best salesperson in the world, but if you don't want a pen, you're not going to buy a pen from me. But if I can reframe it and show you how a pen would be valuable, so, oh, you're about to go and talk to that guy you like. I know you're going to commit a relationship, it's a stupid example, but you'll get the point. And you want to write your number down so you can give it to him. So you've got a nap, Kim. What's stopping you from writing your number down? No, you, there's a guy at the bar. You think it's really cute. You want to give him your number. You have a napkin that you could write your number on. What's what's the missing part of the puzzle? Okay, so now you need now you want a pen. So now I can sell you a pen. So now because you have a value because you have value attached to the pen, doesn't matter what price I give you on the pen, you'll buy the pen because you have a specific need for the pen. In a world where you don't want to write something down, you don't give a shit how much the fucking pen costs. You don't give a shit about the pen. The analogy I'm pointing out is it's value, not price. In that scenario I just gave you, if I said this pen's ten pounds, would you buy the pen? It has nothing to do with the pen.